Okay, so I know I have done another video before on all the different Maylie's products and how I, they have good stuff in them. Um, I don't think they're bad. I just don't think, like I tried several of them for very long, like for six months. I tried and then I tried new products and I didn't, they don't, they definitely don't measure up to what you see on Instagram and all of their ads. They're not like miracle products that will drastically change your body. Are they good products that have some good things in them? Absolutely. Um, but they're not going to firm your stomach or totally get rid of cellulite or anything. I, this one, th these are just the recent ones I have tried. Get Sprung is supposed to, I think this one is for, yeah, Enriched Stretch Marks. Um, yeah, no. It's like a, a nice oil. Honestly, it's um, it's very liquidy. I, I don't really find that it do, does very much of anything. This one is a Titan Tone body serum. Um, also, I think it's got good stuff in it. I don't think it's a miracle worker. Um, this guy I have loved. This has been my favorite Melee's product. Um, it's called Get Cheeky. I it's a cellul cellulite oil. Um, I have been using it for like just the start of crepey skin. Um, and I'll insert some pictures. I noticed on my knees um, that I was starting to get like a little bit of that crepey skin. So my regular moisturizer was not doing the trick. Um, so I started using this and I do feel like it was way better than regular moisturizer. It's a very good product. Um, it has a lot of good things. I've looked up all the ingredients and I thought it was great, but this little bottle is $35 and I'm, you know, it's, it's not for your face. Like it's designed for like other parts of your body. So it's a lot of money for this little bottle. I, oh, I, a few years ago stopped using creams on my face. I now totally just use oils. I feel like I'm not like a very, I don't have like super dry skin or anything. It's just, I'm 51. So, you know, you, you need something like, I feel like personally, I needed something stronger than just a cream. And I feel like creams are diluted and oils in general, if it's a good oil is like all of the product. And that's, that's what I've needed. So I've switched to that on my face years ago. And now I've just switched to that on my body as well because I don't feel like the cream's cut it anymore. Like I need a little more zhuzh. And do you have to let them soak in? Yeah, do you have to pick a good one? Yes, but I feel like you get way better results um, than you do from just using like a, a lotion. Um, so I have used Palmer's off and on, not the oil, but the cream, because I felt like it was really good and it really measured up to a lot and it's not that expensive. So when this came up in my feed, I was like, why don't I try this? So I did a little comparison of this guy, Get Sprung from Maley's, to just uh, regular shea oil from Palmer's. And this did the same as this, I have to say. I'm going to insert pictures and show you the different consistencies. Um, this is definitely more liquidy than this guy. I can show you on the back of my hand. Like this is definitely like an oil. See how it kind of drips down and then you rub it in. But it rubs in pretty quickly, pretty easy after you get out of the shower and you're on your way. This guy is more, it's a thicker and this guy's milky, it has a few different ingredients. Goes on, takes a little bit more for this one to soak in. They're both really good products. And this is probably the most wrinkled part of me is my back of my hands. So honestly, I, on my left leg, I've been doing, I've been sticking with Get Cheeky, who I've been using for like five months on my whole body. I started just using it on my left leg and using 
the shea butter all on my right leg and everywhere else. And um, I'm going to insert the pictures. You can see there's like hardly any difference between the two of them. This guy is under $8 and this is eight and a half ounces. This guy is 2.6 ounces, $35. So definitely this is the big fat winner in my opinion. Uh, you make up your own mind, but I'll show you the pictures. At least for me, I felt like this does exactly the same thing. I can use it everywhere. I'm not having to use like an individual product for each section of my body that takes 20 times as long and it works really well. And honestly, in general, if like in my case, I've lost some weight and I found that I have some sagging skin or like a little bit of crepe starting, um, you definitely need to keep it like moisturized and keep your skin to like give it that elasticity. I take collagen um, just to keep, try to get the skin back where it was before. And uh, you know, it's definitely better than it was for sure. Um, I, I, but I think you would get the same results from using something like a shea butter, like a really good body oil versus almost any of those products. Um, that's just my opinion, but I definitely have bought several of their products. In my other video, you'll see I did the arm and the stomach one. Um, and I don't see, it definitely doesn't do what it says like on Instagram or any of that stuff. Um, but they're just like a, a decent moisturizer, which I think you can get for a lot less money. Okay, hopefully that helps. Okay, so this is the side I've been using Maylie's on, and this is the side I've been using Palmer's on. You don't really notice it until I do this with my leg like bend it out so you can see this is where the creepiness comes in. This is the side I've been using Palmer's on and this is the Melee side. So you can see they're pretty equal. It's definitely better than it used to be. Um, I, this is just the spot, like the first spot where I'm starting to get that kind of crepey thing. I thought the Maylees worked really well. I feel like the Palmer's oil works just about as well, but it's a third of the price. So for what I've been getting, definitely this guy's the winner.